Hi, my name is Steven Spencer. I'm a fish biologist with Alberta Environment and Parks. And today we're out at Lac St. Anne doing a spawn collection. Through our consultation, we heard from our stakeholders that they were interested in more opportunities to catch walleye. So we are taking eggs and milt uh, with live traps from fish out at the lake that will be used to stock water bodies uh, throughout the province. So the fish are on the spawning shoals right now and we catch them in large traps that look almost like a lobster trap. And uh, we separate out the males from the females and bring them to shore. And when they're ready to spawn, they go into the spawn tent. So once we get the walleye inside the spawn tent, um, we spawn the males and females at the same time, a three to one male to female ratio. Uh, we let them fertilize for four to five minutes. Then we do a tannic acid bath to remove the sticky surface of the eggs so that they don't clump. We stir them with a feather in order to be very gentle because they're very fragile eggs. Once we're done and they're no longer clumping, then we take them, put them in the upwellers where they harden for six hours before we transport them to the hatchery. Once the eggs arrive at the Coal Lake Fish Hatchery, um, they're counted by volume. Then we put them into the upweller system we have at the hatchery, where we keep them for 22 to 25 days before we stock them out as fry. Um, we stock them out so little because walleye are carnivorous, so they will actually eat each other um, once their yolk sac runs out. So in four or five years, the fish will be catchable. So we're, we're very excited to see how this is going to turn out. We want to evaluate it, make sure it's a good use of staff time and public dollars. But uh, we're very excited to see if we can create more opportunities for Albertans.